we are definitely in the bubble phase of AI. Look at this tweet, where not only this person, but many others are claiming that American companies are losing market share to Chinese open source companies. And all of these claims and rumors and tweet storms, not only on X, but also on a lot of other social media website is just due to these charts from open router, which I will be explaining in this video. But the point of this video mainly is that there is so much hype. There is so much faff and fluff out there that it is really, really masking and twisting the reality. Now, the claim which people are making here is that all of the models, the open source ones from China, like um, Quen Coder and Quen itself in mixture of expert format, plus GLM models and lot of other models have beaten OpenAI, Anthropic, and even um, the Coheres model. Also, the claim is that now people are ditching all of these models from closed source providers and they are moving to Chinese open source models. In this video, I'm going to give you a very objective, rational rundown of what exactly is happening and why these sort of claims are not really helping. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel as that helps a lot. So let's get started. As I said, there has been this recent buzz online about a perceived shift in coding model usage, particularly suggesting that Google, Anthropic, and OpenAI, all of them are losing ground to Quen's latest coding model. Now, we all know that Quen 3 coder, which we already have covered on the channel a lot from various angles. And it is definitely one of the best coding models out there in open weight, open source. And you can check out the ranking anywhere. But at the same time, we also know that Anthropic's Claude Sonnet, Anthropic's Claude Opus, and Google's Gemini model plus the recent GPT-5 model from OpenAI, they are not bad at all. Also, if you go through Open Router's website, an open router is simply a platform that allows developers to access multiple LLMs through a unified API. And it's a paid service, it's not free service. And I'm not going to market them here, but the thing is that their charts show that Quen models are climbing the ladder, while established names like Gemini plot seems to be slipping in relative popularity. But if you take a closer look, which I will show you shortly, it shows that these rankings reflect only a narrow slice of the broader AI landscape and should not be interpreted as definitive indicator of market share or real world adoption trends. Now, let me quickly show you the rankings. The rankings in question measure model usage within the open router ecosystem, which skews heavily towards enthusiasts, researchers, and open source advocates who value flexibility, cost efficiency, and experimentation. These users are more likely to try newer open weight models like Quen3 Coder because they offer strong performance and are often available at lower cost. And we have seen that happening with this GLM model, which is, I believe, one of the best, if not the best open source model as we speak today. Now, most of the professional developers and enterprises still rely on official APIs from providers like I would, you know, without fear, say OpenAI, Google and Anthropic. Maybe OpenAI is way, way um, ahead of all of these API based providers too. Now, the models like GPT-5, Gemini 2.5 Pro and Claude Opus and Sonnet are consumed directly from their website often integrated into production workflows, IDEs, and enterprise-grade tooling like Copilot's cursor, and there are heaps of them, which we already have covered on the channel. Now, this distinction is very, very critical. While these websites like Open Router, and there are hundreds of others too, they provide convenience and variety. It represents a fraction of total LLM usage, 
especially for high stakes or large scale applications. For example, Take Cursor, which is a very popular AI powered code editor. It reportedly spends at a rate equivalent to over $1 billion annually on the cloud API alone. That is a usage that would not appear in open router metrics at all. Similarly, Google's Vertex AI offers a feature like Dynamic Shared Quota or DSQ, which allows pay as you go access to powerful borders like Gemini 2.5 Pro and Gemini Flash without predefined rate limits, dynamically allocating resources based on real time availability. Now, the rise of Quen3 Coder, which as I said, we have covered already on open router can be attributed to several factors beyond pure performance. First, it benefits from aggressive free tier offering, especially in international regions via open router and in China via model scope, which encourages trial and frequent usage. Second, as an open weight model, it appeals to users who want transparency, local deployment options or freedom from vendor lock-in. Some users even run quantized versions of Quen or other models locally using frameworks like Llama.cpp, VLLM, Olama, LM Studio, further decoupling from cloud-based APIs altogether. So this growing capability of open source models to match or approach the performance of closed source leaders reflects a broader trend. The gap between proprietary and open model is narrowing, making open alternatives increasingly viable for coding tasks. Now, let's have a very quick look at these charts because this is uh, the source of all of this thing which we are looking at out there. So this ranking, it shows the overall top coding models on open router. Quen3 code, coder model, particularly Quen3.5 coder 32 billion. Um, that looks pretty good and they have surged to the top. Dominating coding use cases, these models are outperforming Anthropic's Cloud and Google's Gemini variants, which were previously more prominent here, even on open router. The charts also highlight how quickly Quen coder models have captured developers' attention, which is in uh, no doubt true. Plus, there is also a you know fact that all of these Quen, GLM, and uh, Alibaba's, uh, you know, cloud models, they all also also offer API tier. So one may also argue that people could also use directly those models instead of open router and hundreds of other services. Now this ranking uh, drills, drills down further and illustrates the growing gap between Quen and competitors. Quen coder models are clustered at the top while consistently higher scores and usage, while Anthropic's Cloud Opus and Gemini Ultra appear lower down the list as you can see. And this suggests that while Anthropic and Google remain strong in general reasoning and natural language tasks, they are losing share specifically in coding domain. Developers are clearly gravitating towards specialized coder optimized models like Quen3 Coder. Um, maybe looking at this chart on at least this website. Now, if you look at this third and final chart, this reinforces a trend by showing sustained momentum for Quen's coder lineup. It's not just a one time spike here on open router. Quen models maintain leading positions across multiple snapshots, indicating strong adoption and retention. By contrast, Anthropic and Google's offerings are slipping further down the charts over time. But again, um, it is all per token basis. And by the way, token is a smallest unit of text, which a model can process while generating or understanding language. But I will still, you know, um, go back to my previous stuff where I was talking about that equating popularity on open router with overall market do dominance would be misleading. Most enterprise developers and other developers prioritize security, reliability, compliance, and support factors that official cloud providers like AWS, Azure, and GCP, uh, and plus these direct labs are built to deliver. Also, another thing is around data privacy and security. When you are going to these models through a third party like Open Router, um, you have to be also 100% sure that your data is not being retained by that third party provider. You need to be very, very um, 
high on your toes so that you know that your data is secure and safe. When companies adopt AI coding tools at scale, they typically do so through contracted, audited and monitored channel, not through third party aggregators where data privacy policies can be ambiguous. Just because a provider on OpenWriter claims not to log data for training purposes does not mean data isn't stored or reviewed for legal or operational reasons. The enterprise grade security involves contractual agreements and not disclaimers and you have to know that. So look, I think it's an exciting thing to look at all of these charts, no doubt about that. But again, they do not tell us the full story. And you can see that the most use case which they have showing is coding, which is a top one through AI. But I'm very keen to hear your thoughts. I also want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video, who are Camel, which is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling loss with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. Please like the video and subscribe as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.